What is up here today, YouTube? Jigsaw0097. Um, I just got a video that I was, I've was i been wanting to make um, for a while now, um, but given the recent Facebook changes and, you know, just social media in general, YouTube has been going down the tubes for like going on over five years now. Um, and this actually has to do with free speech, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Stefan Molyneux on YouTube. Um, if you guys don't, I highly suggest you go check him out. He's one of the most intelligent people I've ever had the pleasure of listening to. Um, he's very grounded, very centrist in his beliefs. And it, it's very refreshing to hear someone, you know, just, just speak truth you know there's no agenda there's no bias it's just straight up truth in my opinion with with what he says um, so I'd highly recommend checking him out I will leave a link to his channel um, in the description and he does videos where he'll just like you know answer the audience's question these are really long videos so maybe not for everyone but you know if you care about politics or you care about the world we live in and you don't really like the way the world's headed, um, you know, he's a good one, he's a good one. So, like I said, this video is gonna be about free speech. It's a little different than what I normally do. I, I know, obviously, I do Eagles videos and gaming and movie stuff, but occasionally I do wanna put my ring into, you know, social issues, what's going on in the world. Um, and right now, I think, Freedom of speech is under attack, and, and this is one of the most dangerous things that can happen, I think, in a free society. Um, they call America the great experiment. I don't know if you guys have heard, heard that before, but the reason they say that is because this is the only time really in history that a country has had a constitution like we have where, you know, freedom of speech is defended absolutely. There's the, there's the uh, phrase, freedom of speech is absolute, um, which I do believe. Obviously, you know, if you're inciting violence or something like that, you know, maybe it isn't because that goes against another. Basically, it's free speech unless your speech goes against the right of someone else. You know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Everyone has a right to, you know, the human rights. Everyone has a right to general safety in this country. So other than that, though, I think freedom of speech is absolute. I think people need to be able to have differing opinions. And and the biggest problem I'm seeing nowadays with especially with this like Facebook thing is you'll see like Alex Jones get banned. Um, Paul Joseph Watson gets banned, you know. There's a very leftist um, agenda over over in Facebook right now and like most of the social medias, you know, even in YouTube, you see people getting demonetized all the time. You know, some of my fellow YouTubers that do videos that I, I do, like Joey Shakes, Desert Eagle, they made a video a while back talking about how YouTube is just getting so crap. Um, because it is, you know, they're, they're stifling speech. They're, they're basically deciding what you can and cannot say. Um, and they have a monopoly. That, that's, that's the real problem I'm seeing is that they have a monopoly on information these days. You know, my generation, we didn't really grow up with the internet because, you know, I'm in my 30s now. But we grew up, you know, it was around like my junior high years, you know, young teenage years when the internet started to become like a really big thing. So it's been around for a long time, but you know, I know what it was like before, so I have perspective. But a lot of people that are born after me, you know, in the 2000s plus, they really have no clue what it was like to grow up without having technology. And they don't really understand how dangerous this can be, I think. Um, unless they do their research and so I'm not really making this video to call people out and say you're 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 stupid or anything I just want to spread the message that you know, it's not okay what these social media companies are doing um, You know, they're, they're banning based on agenda um, And if they're going to distinguish themselves between a platform or a publisher they need to make that distinction. It's like Steven Crowder said, if you guys watch him, he said recently, like we need to know the rules of what social media is and they're not displaying those rules. You know, like YouTube is the worst. You will get demonetized or you'll get flagged or whatever for, for almost nothing and then there's just no explanation why it happens. There's nothing you can do. You just are at the mercy of these, 
these YouTube bots is what I call them because most of them are not real people. When you try to contact YouTube, which I have tried to contact them several times for some of the movie reviews that I've made, um, they just don't even respond to you most of the time. And if they do, it's a very like automated response. Um, and they don't work with you. So that the problem with YouTube specifically is they have a monopoly. This goes with Twitter, you know, Facebook. They all have a monopoly and they all have a similar agenda. So, they, you know, they start colluding together, which I 100% think happens with them um, on what is and is not acceptable. And, you know, a lot of this started really with Donald Trump. You know, love him or hate him, who cares? He's allowed to say things just as we are. And, and that's where the whole thing started is they think that Trump is just too too brash or, you know, says things, whatever. Whether you agree or disagree with the guy, that's not the point here. The point is that he has the same rights to freedom of speech as you do. And you shouldn't be trying to ban people just because they agree with Trump, which is why, like, Alex Jones. But, but then, meanwhile, people on the left, they won't ban, like, ISIS, you know, people that, like, actually abuse and murder their wives um they don't ban black lives matter which i think black lives matter is a seriously problematic group because um, i just think that it incites more racism i think that it, it's just more it's just another divisive tool that i see happening nowadays you know and it's things like that you know there, there's things that are banned that are just kind of opinions and then there's things that are banned that are actually inciting violence or sorry things that are not banned that are actually inciting violence and there's just no rules that that's the bottom line here so really to kind of wrap this video up guys i think we just need to be well aware that a lot of these social medias are probably coming to an end in more ways than one um because i just don't understand how they can do this stuff and expect people to stick around um, I think that getting the rules like this in place it's just gonna keep leading to more and more rules it's gonna snowball and snowball and snowball and then before you know it you know we freedom of speech is gone and if freedom of speech ever goes away guys if the government ever can tell you what you can or cannot say that is when you know this Western world as we know it, it's over. It's over, guys, because this is the this is the great experiment. The only time that America's like 200 years old now, so you know we we haven't even come close to Rome yet. Rome was like over a thousand years, and you know I already can see that America is just dwindling and dying. The foundations of what make America great are slowly going by the wayside, just because you know maybe a president you don't like is in office or stuff like that. Um, you know, just stupid reasons. You don't agree with someone, so it's hate speech. I, I hate that term, by the way, hate speech. It's, it's the worst term ever made. It basically just means I'm not intelligent enough to debate you, so I'm going to say what you're saying is hate speech um, on that basis alone, at least from the, uh, the experiences I've had, because I like to debate a lot with people, and I'm a pretty rational guy. I'm not going to really get upset at you. I, I like to hear opposing viewpoints. Um, but some people aren't that way. They can't handle that. So bottom line, guys, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, these are all just, they're, they're getting really bad. And if you have not checked out what have Facebook has done recently, I would urge you to go check that out. People that are on YouTube, you already know what YouTube's been doing. YouTube has been going down the crapper for years now, you know, not paying content creators what they're worth. There's some amazing content creators on this platform and they really don't make what they should make. And and it's it's just sad, it really is just sad because a lot of the stuff on YouTube nowadays is better than what you'll see on like TV. So it is what it is, guys. But anyway, that's the video. I would like to hear what you guys have to say in the discussion down below, um, what your opinions of this are, what you think needs to happen. If you agree or disagree with me, like I said, I don't care, just, just say what you want. Um, but I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it's a little bit against the norm. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Um, but as always, guys, this has been Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.